Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, let's talk about how we can manage the environment variable in the Svelte kit. So there are uh, four different ways in which you can manage the environment variables in the Svelte kit. I will talk about uh, all of these one by one. Static, public and private, dy dynamic, public and private. Okay, so let's say I have a .env like uh, in Node.js app, how you do it, how you access the environment variable using node env or port host database username and password using process.env and what we typically use .env or .env cli these are the some kind of modules we use so here i'm going to create .env and through this .env let's say i created two variables one is a public and these are the static variables secret api key and public api key secret api key is something which i want to be consumed only by the server side and the public API key is something which can be consumed at the client side and the server side both. Let's say, and I mean, I don't care even if this variable gets exposed at the client side. So what we can do is there are particular modules which are available. So this is what inside dot env. These are the static variables. So what we can do is inside the routes. Let's say I creating an app folder. Inside I'm creating plus page dot server dot ts. Right here, I can simply write secret API key. So what it is getting, it is going to get this secret API key from here. And on the load function, we can just print it. This is TypeScript. So I need to add the types also. Page server load, I can get from types. So secret API key. This is secret API key coming from .env, but only for private. If you want to have a public static variables which you want to access, then prefix it with the public. So how you can access it inside a page.ts because this is only server side. You can also create a plus page.ts. <coughs> and you will put a same load function. But here you will access this public API key. This, this is coming from .env static private. And this is coming from dot env static public. You can see the difference. So it will look for the public API key prefixed to the public. So this is a convention that you cannot have any public, uh, I mean any API key without prefixing public and you are trying to access it using static public. Okay. Uh, so now there are two other options like static dynamic and uh, sorry, dynamic public and dynamic private. So what you will do is instead of doing this, there is a st yes, instead of static there is I think dynamic module is also there it's checking yeah static dynamic static private and stat static public private dynamic public private so sometimes you have an environment variable that changes and you have to send them from the server to the client then you can use this because these variables are dynamic in nature so what we will do is, first of all, uh, let's say I'm creating a plus page dot server dot ts in another folder. Let's say the blog. Inside blog, I'm creating plus page dot server dot ts and plus page dot ts to talk about both the examples. So plus page dot server dot ts here, you can import env from dollar env so this is a dynamic private and then you can write a load function load function of type page load event page server load and this function is returning log secret api key Okay, this is when you want to have a dynamic private key and that is coming from page server.ts. Similarly, there is a dynamic public and you can put that inside this. Instead of uh, dynamic private, the only difference is here you are going to access dynamic public from the types. Okay, so here we are using env dynamic public to get access to the environment variables prefixed with the underscore public, public underscore, right? You can also keep your own secrets, anything you are creating with the server.ts. So inside a lib server, I can create a secret.ts. 
and here you can have export cons so what it is you can create a server side modules by adding dot server to a file name or placing a file inside a lib server to store any other secret so i'm putting things inside a lib server these are server side accessible only these cons variables so this is just another way of managing the secrets otherwise you can create a page server.ts which will access only uh, public uh, sorry public uh, private static private variables and here dynamic private secret variables and this is static public variables and dynamic public variables okay so this is how you can manage your secrets and secrets you can access using let's say i put the secrets here so how can i access it i can access it using secrets lib server secrets <coughs> This will give me the secret value and i can just do console.log so now you can decide how you want to expose your variables these are the four different ways obviously if there is a server side variable like access key secret key or something you will obviously put that in the plus page dot server dot ts and you will access it from here only using secret api key from env static private env dynamic private okay this is all about how you can load uh, the secret variables in your process.